Happy New Year. Two. Two stories in one to kick off 2020. Because they're both so fucking minuscule and not that much. But they're kind of funny that I thought I'd just wrap them all up into one video. Like a delicious J sandwich. All right. First story is Pope Francis smacked the crap out of a woman's hand while he was doing an event for violence against women. You can't make the crap up. Now, here's what happened. This Asian woman grabbed his hand, you know, and he does the line where he's shaking, like, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love you too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This one Asian chick was so excited to see him. I don't, I mean, I've never been excited to see the Pope. I don't give a shit about the Pope. God bless him. Maybe he's cool. I have no idea. I don't fall into the cult. It's just not going to happen to me. So this Asian lady, like, runs up to like, oh, I got the Pope. Oh, I got the Pope. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? She would not let go of his hand. He's like, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. And finally, he got so sick of it. It's the funniest thing ever. Go watch the video. He went, get the fuck off my hat. Like, he didn't say that. But he starts slapping the crap out of her hand. She like, oh. <laughs> the look on her face, it, it was like he might as well have grabbed one of her pubic hairs and ripped it. Just like that. I told you not to keep grabbing my hand. I told you not to keep grabbing my hand. Ah, ah. Like, it just looked like that. It was hilarious. Listen, I get it. It's not a big deal to me that he did that. It's funny to me that he did that. Listen, he's trying to get away. He's got a billion people that he's... Listen, I'll, I'm going to say, you know, but if she was a boy, you know, a young, hot, little blonde boy, she, he might have felt differently. Like, okay, keep shaking my hand. Yeah, shake my hand more. Lower. Lower, lower. As a matter of fact, you want to be my special friend today. Special friend, come on in to the uh, Catholic secret uh, fun kid room. Yeah, it's going to be lots, lots of games and um, just ignore the Western oil in the corner and the whipped cream. That's for something else. But come on, if it was a boy or it was a guy, I'm, I guarantee you he would have held on just a little bit longer. We, we know their history, the Catholics over there. We do. But yeah, I mean, she was so excited. It was just the funniest thing ever. Like, I think she was, like, in a trance or something like that. Like, you know, I can't see the pup. I get to see the pup. I'm shaking his hand. I'm shaking his hand. Or, I had another thought, maybe she was doing it extra long in hopes someone else, maybe someone she was with, would get a selfie. Like, maybe she, okay, hurry up. I can't hold it much longer. Hurry up. Hurry up. Kim, Kim Lee, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Hurry up. Ow. You fucking you. <laughs> I want to know what she said after. Did she curse, like, under her bed? This is son of a bitch who slapped my hand. Mr. Holy Jesus over there slapped my fucking hand. <laughs> she should have just started crying. That would have been hilarious. So, that's funny. We're starting off the new year with the Pope slapping chicks. <laughs> At an event for uh, to talk about the increased violence against women. That's just, you can't make this shit up. All right. And then next up is somebody named James Charles, who I did a video on a long time ago. He's a sassy makeup artist who likes to, you know, grab every guy he can see, whether they want him to or not. He doesn't understand Me Too works for guys too, so that's okay. But um, a long time ago, there was this fake chick named Tati or something like that. They're, they're, they're influencers. I don't get that whole tribe who do makeup. Like, they do really fucked up fashionable makeup and they sell you their own brand, but they're bajillionaires. I, I, I don't understand, which reminds me, I'm coming out with my own J Cosmetics soon. It is made from fresh baby's blood with a mixture of African... American, no, that's not, that doesn't sound good enough. That's, it's got to be foreign. Um, Icelandic women's fingernails because they have creatine ish in their fingernails and you grind it up and it just makes you look years younger. Um, I'm going to get somebody who just had Botox to do it before and I mean, as somebody who, you know, looked haggard before and then, yeah, it's going to be great. So I don't understand these people as it is. But this chick, Tati, had, James Charles is like 22, he's a sassy gay guy. Noise the fuck out of me. He's got one of those lips. Hi, uh, so today we're going to do some more like makeup. I'm going to get some sassy makeup and we're going to talk about really fun colors. And it just uh, irks me. Then again, so does everybody else. This woman a long time ago had almost ended him. Her name was Tati. She's like a soccer mom who also has her own makeup out. And she made this like video that she was uncomfortable with him, but it was a real condescending white chick video. It was She did the head tilt and all that and like, you know, there's just some things with my relationship, my friendship with James Charles that I really couldn't ignore anymore. And I'm just going to talk like this the whole time and hope that you'll sympathize with me. Turn your phone this way. Are you going too far? Do you get motion sick yet? Yeah. So she did a video on him because he had done some inappropriate things or said some inappropriate things. Honey, he's 22 years old. Your, your best friends are hanging out with a 22 year old. You're like, what, 36, 38? He's going to do stupid shit. I'm surprised he didn't, you know, she said at one point at dinner he did something weird. I'm surprised he didn't take his junk out and just start slapping your father and your mother on the head with his junk and then, you know, start, like, doing, like, jumping jacks on the table, you know, while singing God Bless America. He's fucking, he's 22. They're dumb, okay? 
been there, done that. 22, okay, I still do dumb shit, but that's completely different. So he's had all these controversies. And then that there's another influencer, Jeffree Star, who hated this kid too. And everybody was ending him. We're, you know, we're all about ending people because we don't like them. Okay, in some cases I get it, in other, other cases I don't. Here's the latest. Because, again, today, James Charles is over, is trending on Twitter. It's just James Charles. I'm like, okay, what the fucking kid do now? Did he finally like, go to that chick's house and say, listen, I'm pissed about the video you did about me, girlfriend. So I am going to poop and just write on your window my name and a signature, a sassy one. It's going to stink. I hope you have Windex. Bye, bitch. So <laughs> here's what he did. And, again, this is a touchy subject, but I'm just telling you, you came here to get my opinion, so I'm going to give you my opinion on it. He recited a song and said the word, nit. Uh, let me just, you know, make it all PC so YouTube doesn't come at me. The N-word, but the, like, the rap version, not the plantation version, if you get what I'm saying. Like, not the, okay, I'm just digging myself in a hole here. Hold on while I get out. Um, he said it on video in terms of the lyrics of a song he was reciting. And now he's a horrible racist and needs to be ended. I think everybody knows how I feel about this. If it's in the fucking song, so the fuck what? I, who cares? I mean, I'll say the N-word all the time if it's in a song. If I'm listening to some Dre or listening to some, some Snoop, it is too hard for me to sit there and be like, okay, when's it coming? Because there's a thousand N-words in those songs. I like those songs. Not because of that, but because they're good. And if it happens to have it in it, so the fuck what? It's not like I'm walking down the street saying it every five seconds because that's I feel good about it or it's some kind of white privilege or something like that. No, it's in the song. Here's what my issue with that is and always has been. They want to crucify this kid for using the words to a song, but the people who make that music, African-American people and, you know, the other people who prof profit off it, don't mind profiting off people my skin color or lighter. Say, you know, listening to that shit. They have no problem taking our money for CDs or, you know, whatever, downloads nowadays. They have no problem taking our money for concert tickets, for merch, but they have a slight issue if we use the word that's in their song. That's fucking stupid. That makes no sense whatsoever. So this kid is being, I thought he did something horrible. I'm like, you know, James Charles just ran over, you know, a busload of orphans and then got out and peed on them while they were screaming for, you know, please save me, call 911. He's like, no, I'm not going to do something sassy and put glitter all over you while you're screaming and suffering. I thought it was something like that. I thought it was something really horrible. It was shit. It was nothing. He said the N-word in terms of a song. Here's what I'm saying about that. That does not make you a racist. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. Like, racism is really, really covert nine times out of ten you got the stupid people who just you know wear the racism on their sleeve you know the people in the midwest you know certain states we try to avoid um and you have the other people who will tell you they voted for obama who tell you that they, they're the most liberal person on the planet and i guarantee you because i've had conversations with these people where they will say the most racist misogynistic things you'll ever hear in your life and still think that they're not racist but they won't say the n-word they won't say that so they're not racist it's bullshit so what? He said the N-word in terms of a song. Now, if he was walking around saying it every five seconds, I'd be like, what a dick. He needs his ass kicked or something like that. But it's in the terms of a fucking song. Get the fuck over it. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's not like he's waking up every day going, N-word, 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 and I'm going to have some tea with my N-word. Well, maybe he does. I mean, am I the only one that does that every morning? Okay, I shouldn't have said that. Besides, it wasn't that N-word. It was numbskull. You're the racist. Took you there, right? Took you there. Right? And word I say every morning, you, you thought it was the bad one, huh? So what does that say about you? Really? It was nincompoop. How about that? Every morning, I just call anybody, any skin color, a nincompoop. <laughs> oh, what a shit show this channel's getting off to this year. But yeah, so the Pope's bitch slapping chicks. And uh, James Charles said the N-word that was in relation to a song. What do you people think? I know some people have really strong opinions about it. I mean, we're always not going to agree on things, but I'm dying to know what you guys think about it. So put it down in the comments. Also, just a little side note, people asked me to react to Onision. I didn't really know who he was. I wish I didn't still know who that person was. I can't do it. I can't. It, it's so disgusting and gross and just, I feel if I say one or two things that's going on with that guy that I will automatically get banned or something like that. You can't even talk about some of the stuff this creep is up to. And... I usually have fun with these kinds of things, but it's just he's so gross and what's going on is so disgusting and gross that even I, Jay, have to politely decline and not do a story on this guy. I I try to think of ways around it, but to discuss the allegations could put me in jeopardy or the channel in jeopardy and I'm already in jeopardy on my own. I don't, I, I'm in jeopardy so much, Alex Trebek is at my front door right the fuck now. Him and his cancer, God bless him. 
Uh, God, let's hope he gets better, right? All the game show hosts have been getting sick this year. That's a video we should do. Pat Sajak, Wheel of Fortune here in America. First time ever, the Vanna White had to host the show. He was off. He like something bad happened to him. And, you know, Vanna White had to host the show. She knows how to turn letters. How did she host the show? I got to see that on YouTube. Okay, so now we're going to spin the wheel. I'd like to buy a vowel. You can't buy my bowels because I used them to poop. What are you talking about? Um, who's going to turn the the letter thingies? I don't know. Uh, can I get an H? <laughs> if I could read. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot going on this year. But, um, yeah, so I'm sorry if you get mad. I'm not doing the Onision thing because it's just, it's too much. It's just too nasty and disgusting. And too, there's still allegations going on. And there's other people that do it way, way better. I don't feel I could be funny with it or like I'm funny anyway, but you know what I mean. All right, so uh, let me know some other, you know, non-predatory people you want me to fucking go off on and uh, or some other subjects that you think I should do. And uh, welcome to JVTV Uncut 2020. Let's hope we all make it out of here alive. I'm not sure with me. You never know. I might say your, your phone might self-destruct. I need sleep. I was out so late last night. I got to stop talking. <laughs> Later, guys.